So Hunter Biden has basically called the Republicans bluff, and he has agreed to testify in public at a public hearing. And Republicans don't like this idea at all. Now think about this for a minute. This is Hunter Biden. This is the great big boogeyman that they've had all these years. They have accused him of all these shady dealings. They've got all the evidence. They've got all the facts. They want to bring it all out, and they want to bring him down for the con artist and the con man that he is. And they could do it publicly. They could show the American people, see here, we weren't lying to you. See here, we weren't full of shit. See here, we weren't just using him as a scapegoat. See here, he really did these things. And they could put him right in front of the whole world and say, now we got you. And he would have sat there with egg on his face. But no, they don't want that. James Comer said this. He said, as these hearings go, you got 20 members on each side that have five minutes each. We have tens of thousands of pages of documents where we need to sit down and ask questions without going back and forth with Jamie Raskin, Dan Goldman, and Little Moskowitz jumping up and down, filing motions and trying to disrupt the committee hearings. <laughs> now think about this for a minute. What have they been saying this entire time about Donald Trump? Man, it's lopsided. It's one-sided. It ain't fair now. They're not letting Trump talk. They're not letting Trump. They told Trump's lawyer to sit down and be quiet. Man, he wasn't allowed to say what. He wasn't allowed to bring the evidence. He wasn't allowed to do nothing. He wasn't allowed to show his side. And then you say, okay, well, let's, let's just have Hunter Biden in the public here. No, no, man, no, hell no. We don't want him bringing his side in here. We don't want him telling. We don't have to go back and forth with somebody. Well, if, if you've got all this evidence and all this evidence is 100% true and you can prove it, there's nothing Dan Goldman, Moskowitz, or Jamie Raskin can do about it. They would all have to just sit there with, uh, with egg on their face if what you're saying is true. But they're acting like this is totally unreasonable. I mean, at these hearings, you've got five minutes where you go back and forth with somebody. They, they're allowed to ask questions. I mean, this is, this is outrageous. And the same exact people. Trump ain't allowed to say nothing. This is bullshit. So if you're looking for consistency with the Republican Party, stop looking, okay? You're, you're, you're not going to find it. There is no consistency amongst them. They have their catchphrases. They have their talking points. They have their boogeymen. They have their scapegoats. And Hunter Biden's all of those things. And anytime you get into an argument with them, they're going to tell you every dirty dealing Hunter Biden did. And when you ask them for the proof, they're going to say, well, they wouldn't let us show it. We wasn't allowed to show it because he's the president's son. And he's saying, hey, I'll sit down and answer every question you want. I'll sit down. You can bring it all to the table. Just, just show it all. And they're, oh, no, no, we don't do that either. Does it ever occur to people on the right that maybe, just maybe, I mean, I know it expands your mind. I mean, really broad here. And ask yourself, could they just be making all this shit up to project and to distract from the fact that maybe the true crime family is the Trumps? Because we have Trump on audio and video doing 90% of the shit that he's been accused of. We're just reminding you about it. Yeah, he did say go to the Capitol and fight like hell. Yeah, there he is admitting to having the documents of bragging, showing them off. Yeah, there he is saying that he, he knows COVID is dangerous, but he doesn't. It's not a big deal. He's not going to tell the American people. Yeah, there he is saying, just get me the votes, just make me the president, just make this go away. So all we've done is simply just replay, we just hit rewind and showed you what happened all over again. And they've tried every way in the world to distort the facts and every way in the world to distort everything. And the main reason, the main reason why that the Republicans do not want an open hearing is because they want to be able to control the narrative. They don't want the public to see their ideas fall apart under examination. They want to be able to control that narrative, and if they do it all behind closed doors and come out and say, this is what we found. Well, if you really, if you really believe Hunter Biden is this bad of a criminal and this awful of a guy, then wouldn't you want to see it? Wouldn't you want to see it all come out? Wouldn't you want to see it all come out to light? And again, if you had him dead to rights, there's nothing no one could do about it. They could debate you about it. They could ask you questions because that's what they have a right to do. That's what happens. And as for Trump, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and explain to you all that the, there's, the times that he's been told to sit down and shut up is because he was talking about things that had absolutely nothing to do with what the judge was talking about that particular moment. When he walks out and says, never before in history has a lawyer been told to be quiet. He ain't never watched a Matlock episode in his life. I mean, come on. But here's your chance. This was your chance. This was your chance to, to expose Hunter Biden as the big boogeyman, and you guys don't want to now. Now let's just, let's just wait a minute because we don't want this being seen in public. 
So until it's seen in public and until it's proven, and until I see the evidence in front of my face, that's just kind of how I think, I'm going to consider Hunter Biden to be the scapegoat for the Republican Party to lay all the blame and all the distraction and use him to project what they really are. And the day, the day that they prove it, and I see it, and I see Hunter Biden caught dead to rights, I'll come on here and I'll say, guess what? Punish him to the fullest extent of the law. He's not above the law. I don't give a damn if he's the president's son. If he's guilty, press chart, do it. Punish him to the fullest extent of the law. But you will never hear a Trump supporter ever say that about Trump or any of his crime family.